going on guys welcome to video number 21 in this video we're going to add social media icons and take on some new CSS properties so for those who don't know what social media icons are they're pretty common on most web pages nowadays Twitter Facebook Yelp LinkedIn YouTube these things up here so these link to this link to your Facebook page obviously your Twitter page your Yelp review Yelp review page and I don't even know what this is this looks like a, a flower or something trying to grow out of the ground but whatever so this is what we're gonna build so first things first is we need to track down some free social media icons so I'm gonna open up a new tab command T and I'm gonna go over here and type in free social media icons I'm gonna pull this up bring the browser down and I was just on this one this this site looks pretty good VandalayDesign.com. Just go ahead and click right here. And okay, so you can scroll down and you can pick and choose which what which style you want to go with. Some are a lot cooler, different than others. These are pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna go. I want to go with something simple. What's this going on? Page peel. That might be a little bit too much. You want to pick social media icons that kind of fit your theme. So if you're doing like a portfolio or something kind of cartoony, this would look ideal. Something a little bit more professional. I'd go with something like this. But um, I'm just going to go back up to the top and grab the first one. Right here, elegant theme social media icon. Let's download these. Scroll down here. Download. Now give it a second. I want to pull these to my desktop. So I'm going to minimize this. Where's my downloads? Elegant media icons. I'm going to pull it down here to the right hand side. Replace. And close this out now. And where's our root folder? Okay. So I'm going to open up Elegant Media Icons folder. And we want to go into the PNG folder and all I want is um, I think just Facebook and Twitter so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the facebook.png bring it down here to my desktop and where's the Twitter where are you Twitter okay it goes by alphabetical order and you can pull as many down here as you want but just for the sake of the video I'm just gonna do two if we do if you do two you'll understand how to put more in because we're all going to do them the same way. So from here, I'm going to go to my Village Park root folder. I can close this out now. And I'm going to go to images. Because before we put our logo just in the root folder, we didn't put it in our images folder, but we might have more images than I thought in the last video. I didn't think we were going to have that many, but I was kind of guesstimating how many images we're going to have throughout our site. It might be a little bit more than, than uh, I had planned. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my images folder. And I'm going to put both the Twitter and the Facebook images in here. Okay, so now we can close this folder out as long as it, we remember what it's called, images and twitter.png, because we're going to have to source that in to our HTML page. So let's go ahead and put these in. We'll call, uh, we'll create the CSS after we add these. Image source. And it was in our images folder. And inside of it, it was Facebook.png. And our other image was images folder, Twitter.png. So go ahead and close that out. Okay, so I'm going to open up my browser. Where's my browser? right click on index.html perfect okay but I don't want them there I want them further over to the right hand side so we're gonna have to create some CSS rules and in this CSS video I want to talk about the display property so let's open up our CSS and we'll go ahead and what are we gonna call this we'll call this okay let's go ahead and create another uh, CSS rule and we'll go ahead and call this Social media, you guys okay with that? Social media icons. Okay, and what do we want to have in here? We want to have, I just want to float anything in this div tag to the right hand side. 
close that out. That looks good. And I'm going to do, 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 do. what do we want to do here? Okay, because we're going to create an unordered list with list items. And in these list items, I want this, whatever our list items are, to display perfectly horizontal perfectly single file horizontally. So what do I need display? And I want to do inline, I think. Yeah. Even though it looked like, let's go back to our browser. It already looked like it displayed perfectly inline right here, but I don't know how it's gonna read on another browser. What am I on? I'm on Safari right now. I thought it was gonna end up like a block. So there's things we could type in here instead of inline if you want to do like a block. And remember, we haven't added this CSS to our HTML page, but if we added block, they would um, they would output on top of each other. So Facebook would be here and Twitter would be down here, but we don't want that. We want it, we want it how it is now. But to make sure it looks like that on every browser, I'm gonna go ahead and write inline right here. And what else do I want for my CSS? I'll give it a margin. Yeah, I'll give it a margin. Okay. Social media icons, and we'll go UL. I'll do, uh, no, I'll do padding. Padding top, and we'll give it 10 pixels. How's that? Perfect. Close it out. Remember to have your semicolon there. And now I'm going to go over to, we already put our image in here, but we're going to go ahead and give it the div. The, the div properties that we just created, the CSS properties that we just created. And what did we name it? We named it social media icons. And we'll go ahead and close it up. Reload in the browser. Boom, move over there. How good does that look? It looks pretty good to me, but these aren't links. We need to set these up. And uh, I'll go ahead and we'll do another video on that really quick because I, I want to keep all these videos under six minutes because I'm going to lose you guys if I've got nine minute videos for each thing. So stick with me and we'll go ahead and put our links around our images for our social media icons in the next video.